mother wanted me to be a farmer. But I'll get my hands dirty in other ways. Need help. Goodbye. Can I help you? What do you need? If you hang round, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Hello, friend. I've got a new bit of writing. Want to see? All right, some other time. Take care. That's kind of you, youngin. Sure did take me a lot of time to do. I'll try some more and do something better next time. Just you wait and see. More bodies getting shite done. Never hurt anything. Well, well, our little wayfarer has returned. You're looking in a lot better nick than when we first found you, I must say. I've been paying mind to what you've been up to round here. Seems you're not a bad sort, me old mucker. So listen, I got an opportunity for you. You can keep on doing odd jobs for us, help out here and there for a few tickets, or you can step up to the big game. I'm offering you the chance to join the ranks of the Vagabonds. Join our family proper. Your blood becomes our blood. Our fate becomes your fate. What do you say? Truth be told, I'm not sure of you myself. But Blind Nelson says he smells something special about you. And I'd be fucking barmy to ignore his nous. I've got me some big plans coming up. And if you've got the right skills, you could play a big part in them. In a word, revenge. We've been at war with the fucking Isle of Dogs Syndicate for ten years. And for too much of that, we've been on the back foot. We need to switch things up, take the war to them, and win it. Win it for good. One step at a time, eh? That's a big enough job for now. Glad your gun's on our side. That's what I like to hear. But now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still have a task for you before you join proper. We're on a war footing, and every new recruit has to prove their value for the effort. You want to join the Vagabonds? You gotta show your loyalty and your worth. The job is straightforward. Put down a dog, and bring me its collar. Not just any dog, though. I want the blood of a Syndicate Enforcer Captain, and I want its lapel pin in my hand as proof of the deed. Do that and you'll truly be one of us. Speak to Nelson for more info. The other lieutenants can kit you out with some gear. Mind your P's and Q's or you'll mind All right, my Labra. Boys. What can I do for you? Go on, once more fill the blood, eh? Time to kill us some more doggies. Ah, well. If that's your job, then I can help you live through it, I hope. If you're planning a straight fight, then I can give you some armor. But if you want to be all tactical-like, then you can't go wrong with some well-timed grenades. Sure thing. Here you go. Fired it my way. You wouldn't dare show your face here. Do you need medical assistance? Let's take a look at you. Take care. I wouldn't tarry if I were you.
watch your back, because I can see exactly where my knife would fit. Hey, do, mate. Hey, no trouble. I had fresh deliveries of chems and medicines today. Which would you rather have your mitts on? Here you go, mate. What you after? Sure, I guess you need the right weapon for the job. You fancy a shooter or a slicer? Right, here you go. Young plum. Help? I can't help with that. Can't even see enough to help you. Ha <laughs> ha! You gotta do this on your own. No hand holding. But I'll give you a bit of background so you know what you're in for. The Syndicate has an enforcement division known by locals as the Sniffers. Their whole job is to keep the peace, as they call it, meaning meeting out a bit of the old ultraviolence against anything they consider subversive. Pretty cruel bunch, by all accounts. They tend to wander around in small groups round Millwall, looking for trouble. You'll find a few round Tower Hamlets in the Dome, too. Each group has a captain, and they're usually smart and tough. You want to get that pin off their collar, you've got to be smarter and tougher. And they ain't the complacent type, so don't expect no shortcuts here. Like I said, no hand-holding on this one. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Do please try not to die. Another blasted day, in it. I'm watching you. At least two others are doing the same. I'm watching you. At least two others are doing the same. Careful where you tread. They know better than to mess with the dog. You get bit. What?
Need help? Goodbye. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt long. We need the numbers. How goes the hunt? Well, well. I wasn't sure you had it in you, me old China. Very well done indeed. And good riddance to the dirty dog you screwed to get this. Here. Keep this pin. Your first trophy is something to hold on to with pride. And take these threads. You're one of us now. So you ought to dress the part too. Welcome to the Vagabonds. Now, I told you I had some big plans coming up. Come see me and the boys in the lounge and I'll tell you what comes next. It's time for those dogs to find out what happens when we bite back. Can I help you? See ya. Do you need medical assistance? What do you need? My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. Well, here we all are then. Listen up, lads. I've called us together for a reason. The dogs hit us hard last time, coming right to the center of our turf. Well, I didn't want no rash response, but now our heads have cooled, it's time we looked at how to bite back. The dogs are trying to get the nuclear reactor on their turf up and running. We've got to win this war before that can happen. That reactor could produce double the power Battersea can. The gentry would have the tummies in their gaff in seconds. They'd be untouchable. So now's the time to strike. And strike hard. And we've got us some extra help now. The lab rat we found down bridge is moving up in the world. This Wayfarer is now a vagabond. Nice one. Good work, mate. Get in. You've had a taste of Syndicate blood, Wayfarer. I'm hoping you're hungry for more. We're moving to a new phase in the war. One that's going to see us much more active. And I want you as our new commando. The old man's keeping his neck out of this one. He thinks we should keep our heads low and stay out of trouble. Well, I've had enough of that. No more defensive manoeuvres. No more shithouse posturing. It's time to give the Syndicate what they deserve. And if that means escalating the fight, then I say bring it the fuck on. You've shown you're good on your feet in a tight spot. And you've shown you can carry out raids in enemy territory. And you can keep yourself alive doing so. That's exactly what we need for some new, aggressive assaults on the Syndicate. That's what I've got the lads here for. Chill, bullet tooth, shrapnel. I told you all I want new plans for how we can do some proper damage to the dogs. And new blood here is going to be our point person. What you got for me? Watch your back, because I can see exactly where my knife will fit. Guns is what we need, boss. Syndicate always have more than us. Way more. We can't win a war without enough weapons. Syndicate get regular supplies from the gentry factories. I know of a depot they run in a warehouse by West India Quay. I say we break in there and clean it out. You must be joking. 
Security will be tighter than a rat's arse there. I'd have to send a whole team in to get more than a handful of guns. It's too dicey by half. I know a gal that might be able to help us. An old, uh, associate. She could find a way past the systems there. At least long enough to shift some crates out. We just need someone to break in and open the loading bay from the inside. No, this is just stupid. Get your fucking brain in gear. I want to hurt the dogs, not do some petty theft. Anything we nick, they'd just replace in a week. We'd be better off burning the place down. Destroy whatever's there. Fancy security and all, and fuck up their supply operations for months. Wouldn't even take much explosives to fry a weapons dump. You're cool, boss. But there's bound to be some lovely gear in there. Would be a crying shame to see it all go to waste. If we're burning a place down, then there's no harm in nabbing some guns while we're at it, is there? Okay, sure. But that's just some frosting. The real aim here is to fuck over the Syndicate. You've been paying attention, Wayfarer. Good. Take these charges. Find a way into this warehouse and set them somewhere that'll cook extra crisp. And take this old card of mine and go see Frosty Valentina. She runs a bakery these days near Millwall High Street. She should recognize the card from our old days. I'd go see her myself, but the Syndicate sniffers would kill me on sight. Tell her what you're about, and she can sort you with something to bypass the security systems. Waste of time. We don't need this Millwall bint. Hey, no need to talk about Valentina like that. Fine. I just want the fucking job done. No distractions. If you hang around, it wouldn't hurt nothing. We need All right, gents. So tell me, what does the Syndicate have in abundance that we don't? Web tools. Herpes. Literally everything. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, probably. But I'm thinking of one thing in particular. Supplies. While we're choking down squirrel stew and using rock gut whiskey to treat anything from the flu to a bullet in the head, the IODS has enough food and medicine to supply both them and the whole of Westminster. I feel it's high time we alleviate them of some of that excess and put ourselves in a position to succeed. After all, health is wealth. So what are you suggesting we do about it? And if you say a train robbery again, I swear to God. Well, now, just hear me out. There's a train that makes up a third of the Syndicate supply line, and... Oh, for fuck's sake, Winston. You've been reading your bloody spy comic books again. You're not 006 or whatever. Give it a rest. Well, it's 005 actually, and what I read in my spare time has nothing to do with this. I really don't see what your issue is anyway. They have supplies, they transport them via train, we rob the train, it's simple. It's not bloody simple. It's never bloody simple. There are far too many variables at play in a job like that. We broke even by the skin of our bollocks on the supply run to the lab, and you want to up the ante? Not a chance. Out of the question. That's just it though, innit? You're looking at the ones and zeros of the returns from the lab. But the real intangible score of that job run is staring us right in the bloody face. What are you on about? What the Wayfarer? Hmm. Not a bad point. Alright, fine. Here's what we'll do. Let's send the Wayfarer to strap on a tux and play international spy. And if they don't come back, we're only back to net zero on that lab run. Happy? Seems like the more people we send, the better chance of success we'd have. But, yeah, sure. I'll take what I can get. Good. You should be thanking me for even agreeing to that. The stakes of a job like this are still sky high. Seeing as if the Wayfarer fucks this up, the heat comes down on our heads like a red coach deli belly. You hear that, Wayfarer? If you muck this up and get yourself killed, I'll find you in the afterlife and shit down your throat for the rest of eternity. Excellent. So the train passes through Poplar Station. That's where you'll be heading first. The station is a Syndicate outpost, so you'll most likely have to put down some dogs to get to the control room. 
Once you're there, all you have to do is switch the train's route to Canning Town Station. Hop aboard, and Bob's your uncle, you're done. We'll be waiting in Canning Town to unload the supplies. Easy peasy. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be just that simple. What could go wrong? It's only the Syndicate's most important and highly guarded assets we're talking about. So in case it's not the sunny stroll in the park that Winston is presenting it as, take these explosives. If we can't have those supplies, nobody can. Get me? If things start going south, blow that train to kingdom come. Even if we come away empty-handed, at least we'll muck up the Syndicate's main supply lines. But securing those supplies is still the main objective, so don't go blowing them up for the hell of it. Any questions? The Vat Cats of the Gentry struck a bit of a deal with the Mangy Mutts of the Isle a while back. In exchange for guns, slave labour, tickets, and a promise not to kick down their doors in the middle of the night, the Syndicate supplies Her Majesty and the Distinguished Royal Court with food, medicine, and other essentials. But it's no secret that there's very little love lost between the lot. All it might take to get the gentry to double back on their little deal is a slight rock of the old boat, if you catch my drift. Something like a dashing rogue agent with a license to kill, intercepting their supply run for instance. I don't know for sure, but there's a scene in Radfinger where 005 boards a moving train to neutralise an A-bomb somewhere in the Swiss Alps. If that's even loosely based on reality, then I'd expect heavily armed goons everywhere. Maybe some bookish scientists in lab coats. And I wouldn't count on the possibility of a few trained martial artists either. They'll attack you on sight, so your best bet is to go in stealth and kill them one by one. Preferably with a silenced pistol. Medicine, wool, other finished goods and the like. But most importantly, anything you've been craving while licking the lid of a tin of dog food, they've got it in that train. Bangers and mash, eggs and rashers, proper baked beans, fish and chips, steaks as thick as a phone book, they've got it all. You pull this job off, and we'll quite literally be eating like royalty. Good luck, mate. The lads will see you in Cannon Town. Quick, take this before Gaunt sees. Christ. This is such a mistake. I've got an easy aspiration, boss. I say we take down the dredge. The mud shoot prison boat? What do you mean, take it down? We crack it open and steal the yoke. There's a bunch of our blokes in there. Lab right here can sneak in, let everyone out, then set a few well-placed bombs to sink the whole damn place. I ever tell you you're a fucking lunatic, Johnny? You've mentioned it a few times, boss. But, uh, what exactly is it about this that seems so mad? The dredge is guarded to the tits. You couldn't sneak a gnat's fart in there. And what's the good in blowing it up? Syndicates have been trying to call us terrorists ever since we broke out that friend of Yvette's. If we bomb a prison, they'll just use that as propaganda against us. Not everyone's fond of prisons gone, and our lot in there have some grit in a fight. Would be nice to have them back in our numbers rather than rotting in the clink. There's some logic in your lunacy, Shrapnel. We could do with more hands, and it would stick it to the dogs if we break our boys out of the dredge. All right. Tell our chum your plan, then. Syndicate's biggest and vilest prison. It's an old warship floating off the south end of Millwall. Its proper name is Mudshoot Prison, but everyone calls it the Dredge. The gentry send the debtors and persons non grata to rot there. The dogs also have a special block for vagabonds to capture. The Dredge has a reputation for people only getting out as dog food. And there's worse what happens inside. Torture, experiments, abuse. It's fucking hell. Too right. The world would be a better place without it. There's a gangplank from the shore near the front. And there's groups of guards patrolling all the time there. It's pretty tight, like the boss said. No one's ever gotten in by brute force. But a lone nutter, being all sneaky-like. I reckon it could work if you're clever. You'll want to go at night, of course. Less patrols, then. The door on the ship is locked, but it's not fancy if you know your way around some tumblers. Or you could try loot a key from the guard patrol, whilst not summoning all of Gehenna upon you. Should all be pretty easy in theory, right? This is fucking madness, Johnny. Wayfair, do you feel up to this? Hear that, boss? 
I think we got the right nutter for the job. Our vagabonds are kept in a block near the front, but you'll have to take down the security system before you spring them. The cells themselves are unlocked from the warden's office down the back of the ship. There's a bigger block in the middle you can open the same way, full of the gentry's convicts. It would be good to set the whole place free. And have them all shot as soon as they try to leave. Our boys can handle themselves, but the other numpties will just get slaughtered or recaptured and we'll get the blame for it. Maybe our nutter here could help take out some of the enforcers. No one deserves to rot in that place. And if we get the other prisoners out, we're free to set the bombs and do some permanent fucking damage. Or end up with everyone sandwiched between explosions and syndicate enforcers. It would be a clusterfuck, Johnny. Let's just focus on getting our own lot out. Them others aren't our problem. But the dredge... Maybe it's too hard. But damn, I'd love to see that hellhole sink. Fan-fucking-tastic. Here, three bombs is enough to sink the ship if you get the chance to use them. They'll need placing around the lower deck. Once they're set, you'll need a scarper. Quick. Good luck, mate. Don't belong here. Get lost.
Sugar, can I interest you in some lovely ass buns? Or maybe you prefer a frosted finger? But I don't know anyone called. Oh, it's Tony. Tony the tall man. Bless my giddy aunt. I've not heard from him in donkeys. Oh, we've had some history. I'll tell you that. What does that old devil want all of a sudden? Oh, we go way back, dear. We met when I was cracking into his, um, well, maybe best not to get into that. He had such a reputation, did Tony. Always the best tools for the job. And so good with his hands, too. Those days are far behind me, dearie. But if Tony sent you, I guess I can help. I don't have the right components just lying around, mind. Let's see. I need you to fetch me some copper, a set of circuitry, and a bit of plastic. Then I'll see what I can cobble together. Ever so compliant, aren't ya? Well, run along then, pup. Remember, looking is free, but a taste will cost you. Some back in Hackney. What can I help you find? 
take a look. Till next time. We got another meeting tonight. It's interminable with this shit. so soon? How's the search? Of course. Remember, looking is free, but a taste will cost you.
going down. Oh. 